Hello, uh, welcome to uh, Fernandez Must Die on the Commodore 64. Now this is, uh, I can't remember this must have been about 88 I think. Uh, and the uh, programs about uh, Tony Crowther. So, uh, as you'd probably expect, uh, this is a shoot 'em up. In the background, uh, you can hear a, it's a reworked version of one of uh, Crowther's old uh, demo tunes, I think. Uh, I think it used to be called R1 D1. It's quite a, quite a nice little tune. Alright, let's get started. Alright, this is basically a, well, sort of commando, a Ikari warrior sort of a clone. Now, unfortunately, uh, it features the uh, the usual Tony Crowther um, eye bleeding colour schemes. Uh, uh, and the colours, uh, well, they're not very subtle, let's put it that way. I mean, that's, uh, I guess they're meant to be bright, uh, you know, sort of arcadey. That's, that's fine. There goes the Jeep we get into. Now, this isn't actually that, that bad a game. Um, and probably would have been quite uh, more uh, eagerly received if we, the 64 didn't already have a, a, a quite decent version of a carry warrior. So and the only thing I could uh, criticise uh, that game for is the fact it's too hard. So why would you make a game that's even harder? I don't know. But it's Pretty fast paced, it's just the graphics are. Despite their um, colour, there's not much variety in terms of the, the colours. Most of these green and blue. Not, not, not pretty horrible to look at for any period of time. I think it's game over already. Yeah, cheers, Tony. I didn't do very well there. Now, the gameplay is okay, but it's, there's better games you can play in a 64, I think. Yeah. And Crowther himself has, has written far better games than this in a 64. Yeah. Maybe some in game music would have been nice. Place okay. I mean, it's quite quite frantic to be honest. There's no doubt about that. And you can't just sit on a screen because because people get keep getting dropped in. So it keeps the action going. And you can hold on fire to launch grenades, which is quite useful. You don't press the space bar like you, you had to in Commando. The sprites are a bit blocky and I don't think really they're that well defined. Uh, and there's a curious sense of scale, you saw the size of that bike, uh, look at the size of that bike compared to, I'm in a jeep. It's sort of a curious sense of scale. Uh. <laughs> I never really owned this back in the day, but it, uh, yeah, I don't think I really missed out much to be honest. Uh, it's okay, but it's not a... Uh, I wouldn't say it was a particularly... It was certainly not a great game. Uh, I don't think it was a good game to be honest. It's just a very, very mediocre uh, release I think. Uh, Crowther certainly wrote a lot better than this. So. This must be the end of the level, I think, so I can't seem to get any further. I 
don't know what it's like commando where I have to uh, kill uh, a certain amount of people. I mean, my eyes are actually beginning to, to hurt, I think, from staring at these garish graphics. So. Game over, I think. You get a little game over sequence, uh, which I suppose uh, is enough. Now it is a single load, to be fair. It's not a multi-load, and it's quite a, uh, it's quite a big game. I think uh, I didn't get very far in it, but um, so it got some uh, cut out some slack there. Right, uh, well, that's Fernandez must die for you, and uh, well. I don't know if Fernandez did die in the end, but uh, um, it's an okay game. I mean, I mean, I really couldn't. I can't fault it too much, but then I can't put too much praise on it either. Uh, I think uh, I'll give it. Uh, I'll give it four and a half out of ten. Uh, it's not very polished, uh, but it's okay. I mean, you know, it's far from a disaster. It's just just not very polished, not particularly brilliant, but. Um, so I think it's a bit of a somewhat lazy effort from Crowther, you know, who can do a lot more, I think. Right, that's all for this video.